Damn, Daniel. Back at it again with the new box. Trigger Edge Tactical. Back at you with another unboxing. Mystery Shift Gear. <laughs> it's a controversial box, not because it's a bunch of, you know, controversy. It's because there's a lot of stuff in there that we may or may not use. It's more of a, I would say, like a gimmicky type deal. But I'm a gimmicky type of guy. That's just who I am. I like gimmicks. I like, I like gadgets. So the more gadgets I got, the happier I am. That's just me. All right, let's go ahead and dig into this bad boy. This is the Shift Mystery Gearbox. Let's see what we got for this month. Now, a lot of this stuff is not like mil spec type stuff like the previous boxes that I've been unboxing. Yeah, it's pretty much like mil spec. To, uh, I will use that stuff on my weapons. Not weapons, I'm sorry. My firearms. Uh, so, let's open this up. See what we got. And we got some packaging paper. <laughs> I see colorful stuff. And let's move this over to the side. And this is what I'm looking for. I don't know which one I have. I don't know if I got... Okay. Monthly subscription box. There's three different tiers that you can choose from. Your primary, your pro, and your elite. I don't know which one I have right now. I think I have the pro. I think I have the pro. So we're just going to go item by item. This tells you what you get and the price of that. So pretty much this box, the September box, it's... It's valued, okay, so it's valued at $68.95, uh, and we get it for $19.99. So, and same thing with the uh, Pro. It's a, it's valued at uh, 101 uh, why don't they just say $102? So, $101.93, let's round it up. $102. And we get it for $50. Alright, so, so on and so forth. Okay, the last of the Elite. Uh, it's supposed to be valued at $168, and we get it for $90. Bucks. So, um, that's how that works. And there's a website if you guys want to check it out sometime. So, let's begin. What do we have this month? So, you have a flashlight multifunction fixed blade. Did I read that right? Feather light multifunction fixed blade. I don't know what that says. I think this is okay. I guess this is feather light multifunction. This is not a fixed blade, this is a flashlight. So, I don't know where the fixed blade is. Unless they're talking about... Unless they're talking about the Timberwolf. Okay, and the thing, the thing about this particular box or this brand is if they don't have the item, they will substitute it for something else. Usually something of the same value. So, a lot of times if you get this and you see something that, uh, uh, that that's supposed to be there and it's not more than likely they'll put some in its place so this is the only fixed blade that i see fixed blade anything that i see in this box right now so i i'm guessing that's what this is um see there's some stuff in here that i don't all right we're gonna okay so this is the flashlight which is cool. Trailblazer. Um, I don't know how bright it is. So it comes with these batteries. These batteries are chargeable batteries. And 
I'm just looking where to plug the charger into. There's an on and off switch. And I don't know where to plug. We're going to have to find that out. So anyways, chargeable batteries. Comes with the charger. Always a plus because you don't have to be buying batteries. And I don't know what size these batteries are anyways for you to buy them at the store. Because they look like a mixture of double A's and I don't know what that is. So, maybe you plug the, I seriously don't see where to plug the batteries in. It's like a mixture of the AA and the C batteries. They're smaller than the C's, but bigger than AA. Okay, so they do have, they do have a little bit of charge to them. Uh, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty bright. It is pretty bright. I'm not going to blind you and put the light in your face but yeah you can see how bright that is right there um, so it has two functions high beam low beam and off it's three functions if you call it count the off so it does have three lights so this is cool I can't use this on camping trips okay so that's something I can use I don't know where it is in the uh, uh, water little okay what well, says here it's okay so it's the elite box because this 800 lumen is actually pretty freaking bright okay so it's 800 lumen so that's valued at 38 dollars. i'm sure i could find that on ebay for cheaper but and that's just me so i'm guessing this is what's taking place of the multifunction fixed blade so let's go ahead and open this bad boy up i know i'm going all, I'm all over the place right now so i don't know what's going on This isn't a fixed blade. This is a this is an axe. This is kind of cool. I've been wanting an axe. I've been wanting an axe for the longest time. And I would not get one because I was like, man, I know I'm gonna get an axe with one of the boxes that I subscribe to. I know I am. And here it is. It's a timber wolf axe. Not very sharp at all. So I'm gonna have to work on the blade. Um so it has a pick on one side, the axe on another has the uh, paracord handle um, looks like it's made of some kind of hard plastic um, looks like it's sturdy there's no give to it um, I like the paracord handle and I like the little sheath that it comes with the sheath is actually kind of cool you can uh, hook it up to your your belt your backpack and it's easy just kind of slides out but you got to make sure if you're carrying it with you that you do have this bad boy strapped in because it looks like it'll slide out pretty easy. But I like that sheath that it comes with. I like it. Okay. Um, axe. By bet. Does it say it's an axe? It just says handcrafted quality knives is what it said. Um, yeah. Custom steel series. Uh, okay. So I guess this and the flashlight is what comes in the elite box that's different from the rest so i still don't know what this multi-function fixed blade because i don't see any multi-function fixed blade in here i see a multi-function utensil maybe that's what they mean maybe they mean that i got a multi-function utensil instead of multi-function fixed blade okay so, if you're camping, hunting, hiking, anything outdoors that has to do with the wilderness, the woods, the mountains, you got to eat. <laughs> so, not only is this a spork, but it's a safety whistle as well. So, you got a safety, safety whistle spork. Okay. Maybe that's what the fixed blade is. Why don't they just say multifunction utensil? I'm not sure. On to the next thing is camping gear suspension rope system. 
camping gear suspension rope system. <laughs> okay, so we got a mesh bag with all these D rings on there. So, got this long lanyard. Uh, you can make it adjustable, so depending on how long you want it. I was thinking it was something, something bigger. So it's a suspension rope system. Uh, you know, obviously, it's not going to hold an adult. <laughs> but what it will do is keep your camping gear off the ground is pretty much what this is for. So you hang this up, got your D-rings, got your different size D-rings, uh, you got your different, uh, different holes on this, and you can use this to hang, I guess, if uh, you know you do laundry while you're camping, hang them out to dry. Um, if you go out swimming, if you're on the lake, you could hang this up, hang your towels up on it, hang it out to dry. Uh, anything that you want kept off the ground, um, that's what this is for. So you could hang this off some limbs, and uh, it even works with if you have dishes I guess if you have uh, like pots and pans out there you could hang them up keep them off the ground comes with a little mesh bag here uh, you could keep this keep all this stuff in the mesh mesh bag or you can use a mesh bag um, to keep other stuff in so all right that's what we got there where were we five pack waterproof storage <laughs> colorful colorful so pretty much exactly what it is. so if you're camping or hiking and you're somebody that needs medication um, these are waterproof containers you could keep whatever you need that doesn't need uh, whatever you have that doesn't need to get wet and these little waterproof containers via, you know, medication, uh, or even some aspirin. It's color-coded so you know what's in each one. Um, these are kind of cool. I really wouldn't use them for me. I don't really think I need anything that needs to be encased in one of these things. But, I mean, you never know. You might come across something. Hey, you know, I got... Uh, this small item that can't get wet so can we put it in there yeah sure i got one of these little containers let's go ahead and use that cool all right next emergency survival bag uh i got this with the last where are you at is this it okay emergency survival sleeping bag now i did a i did an unboxing i think it was a, a crate club no it wasn't a crate club um it was an area 51 tack pack that I was unboxing earlier and I got a survival sleeping bag in it but it was a lot smaller than this wait is that what this is what is this yeah survival sleeping bag kind of threw them off guard because it has all these uh, splints I guess you can use this for different stuff or you know what it gives you hints if you're out somewhere by yourself and you get hurt you can use uh, splints and how to splint your foot okay so it has some pretty interesting yeah it does okay so it has pretty interesting stuff um, how to make a fire without lighters um, how to cool bottle of water all right cool so emergency sleeping bag that's what we got here so next up Okay, all right. Carabiner parking knife. Carabine. So if you guys do any climbing, you know what the car carabiners are. They're pretty much these. 
um, I call them D rings, carabine rings. Um, so this is a carabine pocket knife, which you can't go wrong carrying a knife on you. It has a little clip so you can clip it on your belt. So it's made by the Bug Out brand. You know, you can't go wrong having a knife. So this is cool. I will have that somewhere. Next up is uh, UST for, uh, 24,000 calorie, five year emergency, <laughs> emergency rations. Every prepper needs emergency rations. Everybody needs, it looks like it's a bunch of blocks though. It's, it's heavy. Look, there's four blocks. Okay, so it's emergency ca uh, it's emergency uh, rations. They're food bars, so five year shelf life. So that's what we got here. Apple cinnamon. I don't know how this tastes, but I have a feeling that I'm gonna find out really, really soon, and I will let you guys know just how these taste. I'm not I'm not expecting like a gourmet meal out of a bag, but. It's so many calories because somebody who's who is uh, camping, who is out hiking, especially hiking, you're burning up a lot of calories uh, going up those hills, going through those trails. So you're going to need something with high calorie, uh, with the high calorie intake to kind of maintain, uh, you know, your your uh, momentum. So that's good to have. That's always you. Anything that has to do with food is good. So, huh. next, a uh, lightweight camping. Oh, we got a camping stove? What? This is crazy. Okay. Stainless steel. <laughs> Let's check and see what this is. I hadn't seen, like, a... a I mean, I've seen camping stoves, but I hadn't seen, like, a small camping stove. This, you know what I'm thinking right now? I'm thinking tailgate. I'm thinking, let's go out to the ball game. Let's go out and tailgate now. I'm, I'm good. We're good. Bring the 12-pack. I got the cooking stove. Oh, what the hell? Oh. How does this even work? A little bowl. Okay. So I got to enter. See, the, and the thing is, is this doesn't come with any type of instructions. So you kind of got to guess on how to I know these things go together and you make a stove out of it put your little fire I'm guessing this is a grill this top is the grill and slide that in here slide this in here set it up these two go here for the set. oh shit Anyways, you get the idea of how this thing works, so pretty much, you know, I'll mess with it. I'll have something for you guys involving this little, I don't know what I'll be cooking. I mean, I was thinking like, okay, let's, let's barbecue something. But something this small, I mean, we could barbecue like one quail, like one. It's going to be a while to feed all of us, but. I mean, eventually we'll get there with this stove. The reality, it's good to have. You know, you're out there by yourself. You know, you could cook your stuff over the campfire. Um, I personally would not use this small stove if I just got a, a fire in front of me. Unless I have to, maybe I'll be in a closed area. I don't know, maybe I'll be stuck in a cave. And I don't have much to, so I'll just go ahead and throw this together. Fix me, I don't know, some soup. A sip of soup. This is a small bowl. Oh, you know what? I think this this is for the candle. Yeah, I think you set the candle in here. You set the, the walls up with the little grill on top. See, it's all coming together now. So you set your fire in here. You're warming up your, your food on this top plate. So I get you. I know where you're coming with this. I know I know exactly where you're coming with this. So, anyways, that's what we got for this month's uh, shift survival. I, I am not disappointed. I'm I'm very pleased with this. Uh, there's some stuff 
like this right here. I mean, I, this is this, this, and this flashlight right here is pretty much makes the package that I got this month, and this is well worth it. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I guess we will see you guys next time. There's another box that comes to my doorstep. All right. You guys take care. We'll see you uh, on the next one.